Hi, I'm Sam Lewis. And I'm Olivia Leatherwood. And this is your Falcon 5 newscast. Yesterday, the organization Clippers and Cops spoke at our school. Mike Seiden, he's a WSB, the news. They talked about the dangers of gangs and the choices you make in life. In fact, the quality of your life depends on the quality of your choices. Hopefully, everyone took something positive from it. Yesterday, FHS hosted our float parade downtown. Those were some good-looking, utterly flamboyant floats. I can't wait to say who the winners are at tonight's game. We should also find out the winners of the door decorating contest then. Following the parade, we had our pep rally in Wilson Park, and lots of students showed up to support. Hey, I'm Ella Cornelius, part of the student body. This week is Homecoming Week at Florence, and our theme is The Greatest Show on Turf, and we have a different dress-up day every day. Monday was Juggling Through Time, where everyone dresses their favorite decade. We saw people from the 1800s to the future. Tuesday was Wacky Tacky Day, where we saw our favorite students dressed in their mismatched attire. Wednesday was Falcons Under the Big Top, where we saw a variety of different animals and some cool clown makeup. Thursday was Hall of Mirrors, and we were certainly seeing doubles when everyone paired up and dressed like twins. Thursday was also the day of the parade, and we saw our sophomore, junior, and senior classes compete for the best float. They put lots of effort into making their floats fit the theme of the greatest show on turf. In our last day of homecoming, we will show our Falcon Pride at school, and at 7, the homecoming game will begin at Brawley Stadium, where the homecoming queen will be crowned. Go Falcons! A reminder for non-seniors that the PSAT will be given October 12th. Don't wait until last minute to prepare yourself for it. Also, this month is September. This month is Suicide Prevention Month, so we encourage you to reach out and talk to your friends if you need help with something. More students need to know that they can reach out to others without being judged. Picture Day is coming up. It is scheduled for October 10th. Make sure you get all the beauty sleep that you need the night before, because it's on a Monday. Now on to Fresh Talk. Hi, I'm Diego Mendoza. And I'm Braley Chandler. Welcome to Fresh Talk. Here's a look at what's happening this week at the Florence Freshman Center. I hope you've had a great homecoming week. Fafa Dance is offering a free homecoming hip-hop dance class for students and teachers. The guest teacher is Adam Ackerman from America's Got Talent, DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda, and Dennis Shea's music video, Steal My Love. There is a Google form on Canvas for you to fill out if you're interested. And the deadline is Wednesday, September 21st, and the class will be Friday, September 23rd, during 8th period in the Dome. Congratulations to the students who were voted to the 2022-23 FFC home court. The boys are Blake Hambeck, Gabe Hernandez, LaShawn Shepard, Jonas Stovall, and Rashab Talung. The girls are Emory Broadfoot, Isabella Cassidy, Trinity McCroskey, Emma Partain, and Lola Stedman. That's all we have this week. I'm Braley Chandler. And I'm Diego Mendoza. Go, Go Falcons! Hi, I'm Caleb Lett, and today we're going to be asking if hot dogs are sandwiches. Is hot dog a sandwich? No. Why? A sandwich is up and down a hot dog side to side. Okay. Do you think a hot dog is a sandwich? Um, I mean, I think you could consider it a sandwich. I would say maybe if it's a, it's a special kind of sandwich, but to me, not really. But, I mean, it, it could be considered. What about Subway sandwiches? They don't, that's one piece of bread. I mean, I haven't had many. I just have my usual meatball subs. So, you know, I guess. But they're not, they're not that great, I think. Uh, I had them last year. What about a hamburger? Um, I guess you could say that would probably be a sandwich because, you know, you got that bun, you know, and got those patties and some, maybe some cheese on there and some condiments. Yeah, I like patties. What about you? Hmm. That could be pretty good, I'd say. Thank you. Do you think a hot dog's a sandwich? Yes. What about a hamburger? No. Why? A hot dog is a meat on a piece of bread. A hamburger is beef on a piece of bread. Does that make a difference? To me, yes. So is there not a beef sandwich? No. Thank you. What's up, Falcon fans? I'm Caden Sledge, and this is your Falcon 5 Sports. Last week, Falcon football took on James Clemens. 
The Falcons played a hard-fought game and pulled out a big win. The final score of the game was 38-20. to They'll be back on the field tonight taking on Minor. We wish them the best of luck. Volleyball played against James Clemens on Tuesday. They played a good game, but unfortunately did not pull out the win. They play again against Wes Morgan. We wish them the best of luck. That's all I have for this week for your Falcon Sports. I'm Caden Sledge. Go Falcons. Would you rather do labs or do worksheets in class? Labs. Would you rather teach math or reading? Math, but really neither one of those. Would you rather have the ability to see 10 minutes into the future or 10 years into the future? Years. Would you rather be a genius and know everything or be amazing at any activity you try? You're assuming that I am not either of those already. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with genius, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Colin Brooks. And I'm Kendall Kilpatrick. Here's what's popping this week. The airline company Southwest Airlines surprises its flyers to Hawaii with free ukulele lessons. I wish I knew how to play ukulele. Me too. You should become a famous ukulele performer. That would be so funny. Speaking of performers, Post Malone took a little scary fall um, in St. Louis, but he's now in the hospital in the process of healing. I saw that. I'm glad he's healing because that was a pretty bad fall. Yeah, it was, but he still finished his concert. Lady Gaga had to cancel her concert, too. She shared a tearful message on social media apologizing to fans. Do you know why she canceled it? Yeah, she just wanted to prioritize her fans' safety over anything else, which is why the show ended virtually during the middle of the tour. That's good that she cares about her fans' safety. I know. Also, Wheel of Fortune host Pat Sajak says his hosting career is winding down after 40 years. I remember him. That guy is iconic. A hundred percent. But after 40 years of hosting that show, I can see him getting a little tired. He does deserve a break after that long. Well, until next time, that's What's, What's Poppin'. Poppin'. That's all for this week. I'm Sam Lewis. And I'm Olivia Leatherwood. Have a great week and go Falcons.